When the school resumed this year, grade one parents decided to keep their children home until the appointment of a second grade one teacher at that school. The enrollment figure this year requires that grade one pupils be spread onto two classes for more conducive teaching. The school principal says that should another teacher be availed, the school has five more classrooms that can be used to accommodate an additional class. Yeah, the problem that we have is the high number of learners in grade one. Yeah, we have been having this problem for some time now. Yeah, it's only that now that we are supposed to go normal in terms of teaching and learning. That's when maybe this problem is seen. But even last year in grade one, we had 58 learners. So, but because we're using the time-based cohort, where learners come on alternate days, so it was of a lesser problem because these learners had opportunities to be taught. But that in itself now affected teaching and learning because when these learners were not at school, it means they were sent on errands. Parents accompanied by their children who failed to obtain placement in grade one marched to the office of the inspector for Tamanzi where they handed over their petition. The parents are calling on the education minister Anangi Pondoka to give them a positive answer saying their children cannot continue to stay at home. We followed all the procedures. The school principal communicated our request for an extra teacher last year and this year. The school board also took the matter to the office of the education director, but no positive answer was given thus far. Their petition was received by acting inspector for Otamanzi, Victor Shaninga, who promised to forward it to the relevant authorities. The school board met the director, that was on 19 January, at least to find amicable solution for our grade one. And uh, there was no solution yet, or maybe the region is in the process to find a permanent solution. In response, Omsachi Education Director Ben Asep says demonstration will not create a vacancy, neither is it a solution to the problem. He added that his response on the matter was already communicated to the parents and the school principal. Tonatania Imbodi, NBC News, Kenda Village.